What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and today I will be showing you how to play PS4 games on your Windows 10 PC. So I, like many people, can't or just don't want to play their PS4 where it is currently plugged in. You know, sometimes you just want to sit in your bed and play your PS4, or sit at your computer setup and play it without having to get up to the living room or wherever your PS4 is to actually play a PS4 game. And luckily, Sony does give us the option to play PS4 on almost any device we own with PlayStation 4 Remote Play. Remote Play can be used with your Android. Android or iOS devices, but today I'll be showing you how to use it on Windows 10. And if you have a Mac, it's a very similar process, so you should be able to follow along pretty easily. So the first thing you're going to do is head to the PlayStation Store. I'm going to leave a link to this specific page right here in the description down below, so you can easily find it. And from right here, I'm going to head over to PC or Mac, and then I'm going to select download the app. Once I'm in here, I will go down and click the Windows Users option, and it'll take me right down here where I can install the .exe file, and that should appear right Right down here and I will click onto that. It'll open it, select your language, and it'll give you the usual setup wizard install screen right here. Click next, accept all the agreements and whatever. You can read that if you want. Select the file location, select next, and click install and then click the finish button and from here you should see the ps4 remote play icon appear on your desktop screen so just click it to open it and it will check for any updates do all the preliminary stuff and once it is done all that it will open up the connect screen right here and from here it's just as simple as pressing start and since my ps4 is right next to me you might have heard the beeping of it turning on that means it has connected to my ps4 and it is currently turning it on and getting all of the stuff ready for me to use it on my computer and after just a few seconds depending on how good your internet connection is it should connect to your ps4's home screen and from here it would be a good idea to connect your dualshock 4 controller via a usb i can just use my keyboard uh, using the arrow keys to navigate as if i were using the control sticks on the dualshock 4 controller but if you want to have a more pure experience you can just connect your dualshock it just sort of give you these options on screen right here and let me just full screen it here so you can see it in its full glory now you might notice that my quality is not the best here I'm pretty sure this is the default quality. I think it's 720 right now. And depending on your connection, it might be lower. So keep that in mind. If you have a poor internet connection, this probably is not the software for you. I'd recommend just using Ethernet for both your PS4 and whatever device you're using, or just spending a lot of money on a great internet connection. So right now I'm going to close out of it and just show you how to configure everything a little bit more properly to give you that a better experience. Let me just close out of this, open Remote Play back up again. So now that I have the Remote Play screen back open here, I'm going to head down to Set and here you can see where I can change the resolution. I did have it at 720. So standard is actually really low at 540. And then the really low is 360 if you have a poor internet connection. You can do it at 1080p, which I will try my internet connection. I don't know if it'll be able to handle it, but I will set it to best just to give you that HD experience. Frame rate, um, I'm just going to leave that standard. Then down here you can see there's a text entry option. Uh, you can select if you want to use your keyboard or if you just want to keep it as normal with the DualShock. And with the keyboard, I'm pretty sure if you're using this on on a PC. You can only use it for navigating around the screens and obviously the text entry option right here. Now back up at the top, I sort of skipped over this. There's an option to sign into your PlayStation Network. Normally, if you get this for the first time, it will just require you to sign into your PlayStation Network. But I have downloaded this software before, so it most likely remembered my information. So I am going to sign in and it just signed me right in. But if you are using this for the first time, it'll give you a little window prompt for you to sign in. And there, I will note, there is a common error when signing into PlayStation Network on a remote play. I will leave a link to a great tutorial down below, which you can follow if you are having a connection issue with your account. And then on the information side, there isn't much here. It's just the uh, update information, version, all that, user agreement, stuff like that. So I'm gonna press okay, head back here, and I'm going to start it up again, make sure that quality is good. And I'm going to connect a DualShock 4 controller just to show that that does work so here we are back in the ps4 for me the quality didn't really improve at least from what i'm seeing so i think it's just my internet cannot handle the higher speeds there was also a message that came up that said that uh, older playstation 4s cannot handle the higher quality so i'm just gonna have to settle for this really the perks of this are using it on like a smaller screen like a laptop or a smartphone so you really would not notice this on there but for me i have a larger screen so seeing this it's kind of noticeable so pro tip get a new ps4 and a good internet connection and this will be more worth your time but for me if i really wanted to play ps4 while someone else was using the tv it would be a uh, a really easy option for me to quickly play a game and maybe just squint my eyes and try not to notice the poor quality here so let me just open up a game to show that it can work well uh, running on a different device here so now that 
that I'm in, I can't confirm what's in that. Uh, you cannot use your keyboard if you were hoping for like a really pure PC experience for your PS4 games. This does not work. I can also say that I my internet connection cannot handle this, so I would definitely recommend you uh, check your internet. It's really good. Basically, that should be it. So I'm about to for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, or, uh, have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any ideas for future videos, be sure to also leave those in the comment section down below. As always, I've been Steve Houston, the Comments Guide, and be sure to have a wonderful day.